What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and guys, I am so excited, in about less than 60 days, Apple should be releasing its first beta version of iOS 14. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth, realistic look of the new features we could be seeing on the first beta for iOS 14. So, let's get started with the leaks and rumors. So, taking a look at the app switcher, iOS 14 is going to be getting a new revamped design. So this is really cool because it's going to allow you to view more apps at the same time. Now this has actually been confirmed because there is code in versions of iOS 13 that actually has this app view visualized. So there is actual code proving that Apple has this specific app switcher. The only difference is it's just not enabled on current devices. So the likelihood of this making its way into iOS 14 is actually very likely. So moving on to the next rumor, guys, Apple is going to be changing up iMessage. So they're going to be adding a few cool features. So the first one that is a much needed feature is whenever someone is typing in a group chat, you will actually be able to see a little bubble up here showing when they're typing. So this is only present when you are messaging a single individual. You can see like when they start typing on the keyboard, but now this will be added to group chats. So what's also super cool is if you are typing to someone it's just you one-on-one -on -one typing with someone else, you can actually click the at button and you can at someone in your contacts to the conversation. And you can even do this in a group chat. So you can just at the person you want to mention and then they will be added to the group chat immediately. So night mode and wallpapers are going to be making a comeback in iOS 14. So currently in iOS 13, there is an ability to make your iPhone automatically change whether you're on dark mode or light mode, depending on what time of day. Now, it's kind of cool is Apple has these preset wallpapers that during the daytime, you get the lighter version of the custom wallpaper. And during the nighttime, your wallpaper changes to a darker shade of the wallpaper. Well, there is a leak. Apparently, someone took a screenshot of this or it could just be a mock-up from the rumor that Apple is going to be adding the ability for your device to choose a wallpaper from your photo library. So whenever it's the daytime, it'll have a different photo from your photo library. And then when it's nighttime, it'll choose another photo from your photo library that you can preset. So people can make possibly like custom wallpapers in order to match the daytime and then a custom wallpaper to match the nighttime. So this is going to be really cool. It's just another customization feature in iOS. So this is also cool because Apple is possibly going to be adding widgets to the home screen. So Apple's adding slightly more customization features to the home screen. So this is a very welcome change. Now, unfortunately, with all the good news comes a little bit of bad news. So Apple's going to be letting go of a few devices. And so if you have an iPhone 6S or an iPhone SE, you might want to worry a bit because Apple could be letting iOS 13 be the final version of software that these devices have. So if you have an iPhone 7, you should be good to go. And this is only based off previous records of what devices have been taken off the support list due to previous versions of iOS. So every year, Apple removes devices from the support list. And it's really looking like Apple is eyeballing the iPhone 6S and the iPhone SE. So if you have an iPhone 7, iOS 14 will probably be the last new update that you get. And if you're on a 6S or an SE, well... Enjoy iOS 13 while you have it, and maybe save up for uh, iPhone 7. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. i got a bunch of cool videos coming your way, and as always, peace.